Hi, I'm Chris Cole with Geeks on Tour, and this is Fun with Photos. Today we're going to talk about printing photos from Google Photos. No, I'm not talking about sending them to your own printer. Google Photos does not have a facility for that. Now, we're if you really want to, there is a way. If you watch episode 19 of this Fun With Photos, it shows you how to get photos from Google Photos over to Google Slides, and then you can use Google Slides print facility to print to your own printer. What I'm talking about today is getting professionally printed photos, just individual photos, or photo books, I love my photo books, or canvas prints to hang on the wall, and they come all prepared. Notice a couple of things. Notice that the picture wraps around the side, that's a choice, and it's already fully mounted with a wire ready to hang on the wall. You can do it on the computer or on the phones. The computer is easier, that's where I'm going to start. Right along the left hand sidebar, you will see Print Store. That's where you go. Print Store. Print the moments that matter. All products. You can get photo books, photo prints, canvas prints, or premium print series. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Notice they've already put books together for you. Start from a photo book made for you. Well, okay, best of summer 2024? I think that sounds good. So I will click on that. If it has a selection for you, check it out. Best of summer 2024, and here it all is. You can delete or add. If I don't want this picture in there, I just click on the X. If I don't want this picture in there, I click on the X. I only need one picture of that rainbow, but I want it to fill as much as the page as possible. That's what these options over at the left are for. I like that. I don't like that one. Now this one needs a caption. I can just click here where it says caption and I say, check mark, and that caption will be printed. Now let's say that you want to add a picture that's not in here. Well, you have to add a page first, put the picture on, and that's this plus up here at the top. Add a page, add a photo page. And I want to get an old photo that's a memory to put a summer memory from many years ago. So I will scroll down back to 2004 so I want to add this picture of our first summer living in an RV. I click on it and done. And now sometime you might pick a picture that is not high resolution enough and you will see a little orange exclamation point. Now, if you see that, yeah, it means that it's not high resolution enough to print at that size. So you have a couple of choices. You can change the size, make it go a little bit smaller by adding other pictures to the page. That is called a collage. So I add another one. And now, since it's printing it smaller, the resolution would probably be enough. The exclamation point would go away. But also, I've printed some that had the exclamation point, and they came out okay. I mean, I didn't expect them to be perfect, so don't, don't fret if you get that exclamation point. So here is one with a collage, and you can change the location of the pictures in a collage. Several choices over here at the right. When you have your book with all the photos that you want, all the captions that you want, you just click Next. And you have a choice between soft cover and hard cover, and that's it. There's no choice in the size. You have to have a minimum of 20 pages, and then you are charged 49 cents for each page over that. 
So this will cost me $41.45 to get a soft cover photo book. And I love it. That is photo book from the computer. Now there's one extra thing that you can do on an Android. Everything I just did can be done on the computer or on Android or on the iPhone. But if you have an Android, you can also automatically add captions if you have put descriptions. So let me show you that. First off, I already have an album that I want to turn into a photo book. So I go to Collections and Albums. Make sure I'm only looking at my albums and I want to find the March album because I know that every single one of these photos has a caption on it. So I open the album and then right at the top of the album there is order photos. And I can order a photo book, photo prints, or canvas prints. I want the book. And notice here when I just tap on a page and tap where a caption should be, it pops up with the description that is added on that photo. I can done. So I can add a caption to every photo. I love that. I just tap there and tap done. And then done again. Open the photo, tap where a caption should be. It shows up, tap done and done. And now same thing. I'm done editing. I tap next. Choose whether I want soft cover or hard cover. Select give it a credit card and an address and you get your photo book. Next is photo prints. Once again, I'm talking about a professionally printed photo prints and on the computer, after you've clicked print store, photo prints is the second option from 18 cents. You can make them four by six up to 2030. And what happens is when you order them, I'm going to pick an album again and say I want prints of all the photos in that album. I click next, ship my order or store pickup. So store pickup, you'd have to click on the details and see if there is a store near you, a CVS or a Walgreens, and you can go and pick them up same day. That's that's pretty cool. So what is this premium print series? That is asking Google to every month send you a selection of your photos printed. I tried this once just to see how it worked. It was kind of fun. I chose the selection of making them like postcards. So they're nice and sturdy and they had the address line printed on them. And I would, I would send them out as postcards. That was kind of cool. So that is a monthly subscription at what, $7 a month. And then lastly is the canvas wall prints. We have these all over our house. Let me show you where they are. Under print store, canvas prints. Once again, it has some suggestions. Oh, I think this one of me and my good friend would be nice. Now, it shows you an approximation of how the photo is going to fit on the size you select. You can choose 8x8, 8x10, 11x14, any of these. I like that one. I'm going to go all the way to 1620. Next. Now you have that choice of what to put on the edges. If you choose to put the photo on the edges, then realize it has to stretch it or part of the photo needs to go around the edge and it might not have enough. There's that red exclamation mark I was talking about that says, eh, this really isn't high resolution enough. But still, I want to see what that looks like. You click on 3D preview and now it shows you the edges and what they will look like if you let it wrap the photo around the edges. Or 
you can change your mind and say, no, I got black on the edge. I want the whole photo in front and black on the edge, and you can 3D preview that. You're done, you check out, you pay your money, $50 for a 16 by 20, ready to hang on the wall. That's not bad. And that is printing with Google Photos.